Product briefs suck. They're one of the most dreaded and overlooked parts of the product creation process. Yet standout products must start with a killer brief. Why are most briefs so bad? They're missing this one thing. Hi, I'm Tim Clark. I teach product creators a simpler approach to design thinking so they can up-level their leadership skills and create standout products. With this video, you'll learn a simple design thinking exercise to turn that pile of post-it notes into game-changing insights. But first, let's address the elephant in the room. You might be thinking to yourself, hey, it's just the brief. We just need to get it done to start the process. I get it, I've been there. But let me tell you, I think there is a better way. The brief itself is the single source of truth for everyone involved in a project. It defines the goals and success for the project itself. So if that is the case, what goes into the brief really matters. It really defines what you're going to get at the very end. Yet, in my experience, most briefs do not contain a rich problem statement or a deep insight, which is critical for creating standout products in today's marketplace, especially with AI coming on the rise. Those who thrive will gather better data. Design thinking does just that. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna tell you how to turn all your research into deep insights using a step-by-step -step exercise. But before I get started, I'd like to give you a free gift that's gonna give you an easy and valuable checklist to create standout and sticky products. It's gonna cover all the tactics I've used to create memorable product which includes five Nike innovation patents. Download yours in the link in the pinned comments. And now back to product briefs. In our last video, we used empathy as a tool for research. Using an immersive experience, we gathered over 200 data points in less than 90 minutes. Okay, this is great. We have this pile of post-it notes. What do we do with them now? We find the deeper insight. So what makes a deeper insight? An insight is a deep truth about the customer or their culture that we can leverage to help solve a problem. It taps into emotion, it taps into culture, and especially taps into motivation. So here's an example of a deeper insight. Airbnb as a company and as a brand stands far above all other rental companies. Why is that? They realize that deep inside every human is the need to be a part of something bigger. Not just their own community, but every place they visit. So they set out to create that feeling no matter where you are away from home. So now let's get practical. Let's turn that pile of post-its into insights. First, set aside 90 minutes, invite six to eight people preferably those who helped gather the data in the first place. And our goal is to quickly sift through all the data using the multiple perspectives in the room and find the important. Assign a facilitator and someone to document the process and the materials you'll need are Sharpies, post-it notes, colored dot stickers, and a phone for photos. Step number one, chunk the data. Start to divide your notes into similar clusters. You'll notice that certain themes will arise. In our case, fabric, fit, pockets were some of those themes. Move the notes into visible clumps and name your themes. Step number two, edit and find meaning. What themes are starting to emerge? These will be main benefits or desires. Now let's get the group involved. Let's do a dot vote. Hand each participant three colored sticky dots. Ask each to vote for the three things that matter most to them. Remember, they were part of the exercise. Now edit and take away the redundant and unnecessary notes. Step number three, find the deeper insight and the problem statement. Which theme got the most votes? This is likely to be your deeper insight, but first let's test it. Does it speak to something deeper? Does it tap into emotion that they may be feeling or to their culture? Does it speak to their motivation? In our case, 
when we did the short exercise, we found that I want to feel like I'm not wearing shorts was the number one idea. But don't stop there. Ask the five whys to get to the deeper insight. So let's apply the five whys using the mountain bike experience as an example. Start with the first question, why this short? The answer, I want to feel like I'm not wearing shorts. Great, why? I want to be comfortable, why? I don't want any distractions, why is that? I ride my best in this state of flow. Oh, why is that? In flow, I have breakthrough performance and I have my best memories. This is the insight. It may not be the right wording, but that is your insight to explore as a team and start to find out what the problem statement might look like. So what is your outcome? You'll have chunked hundreds of data points in the form of post-its in under 90 minutes. You'll have identified your themes, your enablers and your causes, which are your benefits, and your insight, which is your deeper motivation and your product team has done this with you, so you have buy-in. And in the next video, I'll show you how to take all of this and make your killer brief. Done something similar? What worked for you? Let me know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one.